Hey, hey. So today we are talking about the exclusive weapons. Um, how you get them fast, on which heroes you need to place them, and more. So, um, there are many different types you can um, get them. Best is on the magic store. In my opinion, I wouldn't say every time buy the seeds for the gold and buy the badges. Then you reset the shop and do this four times. Um, if you have enough gold, also buy the food. So you can you have every time enough food to level up your heroes. I'm also buying some more when I have the gold and reset for 200 gems. Uh, so, uh, you can also buy them in a shop. Where we have it? Here. Um, on the dailies, I don't know. Do they have them on the dailies also? No, but you can buy them on the weekly, like here for t 10 euros, uh, the normal two batches, and also for 45 euros and for 100 euros, <coughs> the red ones. You need them to level, uh, to level them up from level 20 to 30. And on the monthly specials, you can also buy them for 32 euros. The normal ones and the red ones for 45 and 100. Um, you need to know if it works or not. In my opinion, I wouldn't say no. Of course, there are some nice um, level 30 skills, but, but um, in my opinion, no. When you spend so much money, use it to get better heroes or something like this. Um, next thing is, you can get them from the idle chests. Uh, I show you this here. Um, I was waiting 60 hours and left on the down. You can see I got um, the chest of red ones, what was not so bad. Here I was waiting 109 hours and got some red badges. This was also not so bad. And I know here I only got red items. So um you can get them with luck and in my opinion you shouldn't wait a little bit with your either chest and don't open them every 10 or 20 hours wait a little bit more and like you can see here you can have the luck to to get them also uh, you can get them in the events like what is at the moment here with 25 coins you can get 10 red ones and uh, there was something else we can get them somewhere. I think this was it. Let me think for a second. Do we have them in a guild auction also? I don't think so. No. Okay. <coughs> I hope I didn't forget thing. But but like I told you, magic store best way to get many of them. So now we come to the heroes. Um, I like Edward. I pushed him to level 10 that his percent is to 75%. Uh, um, Diana, I just um, give the weapon to level 1 that you get the first the first um, yeah, stat, like 5% more attack. S same to Terrence. Lionel so I have nearly on every hero I was giving him this level 1 so that they have the first set. Uh, okay, Lucia not, because I don't see 5% death is worse. Um, I like to use Bella in Advanced Arena, so I give her level 10 that um, the skill is increased 5 seconds. Darby I also was not making. Uh, Liv level 1. Flora level 1. Flora is hero what is worth. You you can push her to level 20. And um, yeah, it's not bad, but um, m many people prefer her and say it's one of the best heroes. But I nearly never use her. 
hoch. Uh, I was not giving because I never use him. Margaret level 1. Cardelin level 1. He also um, is not bad. You can push him to level 20. So he have 20% more defense and 10% more block rate. Uh, Felix. Um, I wouldn't say only worth for the attack. So when you push him to level 20, he will uh, get 9% attack. Because crit immunity, I don't know why they give him crit immunity. This is completely stupid in my opinion. And HP increased. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Rene. Also, you can push her. This is not bad. Because when you give her to level 20, um, every 2 seconds he get more attack. And also for new guys, and uh, you can use her in Abyss. Um, but think about it, you need Berserker and uh, Repulse, or how is this rune called? Um, yeah, Isla. Isla level 1, so he get every time for 6 seconds a shield. Brook I don't nearly use. Bali I give to level 1, but also never using him. Um, yeah, here I'm missing 10 of the golden badges for level 20 for my uh, Romeo. Um, here I was thinking HP is not bad for him. He's living perhaps a little bit longer and he got um, attack. Suvera is for me um, important hero to make her to level 20 because uh, she heals a little bit more and she heals two persons instead of one person. And also I think level 30 coin also really really good. Um, when I understand it correctly, when you have Ramiel and he's dying and Sufere is um, raising him, the, the um, enemy team still attack Ramiel and with this skill they will change to someone else. So they will not attack Ramiel, they will start to attack, I don't know, Felix or someone else. Um, Salia, also really good. She will um, have many, many more damage. Also, level 30 is worse because she um, stacks 2 instead of 1. But it will take years to get her to level 30. Then we have Gar, also worth to push him to level 20, even to level 30. Uh, Kuvroy, I wouldn't say also worth to push him to level 20 because of Abyss, because anyway she, he's making more damage than Celia if you put the correct runes on him. Uh, Fruda, I never use him. Same to Gisela. Grigor, same. Eric, I was giving him to level 1. Um, really, I don't understand his skills with this increased bloody by 60% and yeah, increased damage reduction by 45%. This could be really good, but I don't understand the first one. And anyway, I'm nearly never using him. Sinclair is the next hero, um, what is really important because um, the reduction time of the intervals are 2 seconds and he increased the attack speed from I think 6 to 8%. And level 30 also worse because um, whoever he's healing, um, this target will get 320% more attack damage. Though the, anyway, this is the next hero I am I'm pushing. <coughs> Same with Olivia. Um, she will increase the HP and after this she will healing 10%. So with the skill she giving energy, she will also heal. And X lot. X lot, I can't see her. Same with your Zako. Um, can I see it when I'm going here? Okay, now. But what I can tell you is that um, Katarina is really, really good to push level 30 as the first hero because she's just starting at the battle to push all enemies together. What is really nice, especially when you have the new hero, uh, Eros, and he's he stuns just everyone who's staying there. So I think Katarina and Iris is a really, really good combo. When you pair this with Gar or with Ramiel, 
uh, Felix, they will just insta dying. Um, yeah. Let me think if I forgot something. No. I think this, this was the important thing for the exclusive weapons. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Follow me, give me a like if you like this video and I see you next time. <laughs>